everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I am the Electrofa Latina and today, guess what day it is? Range test, worst case scenario, on the Easels 5-star super powerful e-bike. I'm on the lighter side, a little bit under 150 pounds. And so I think most people that are riding this bike are a lot heavier than me, maybe 200 pounds and up. So since I'm already on the light side, that's going to be easier on the range than heavier people. I'm going to be riding it as hard as I can. It's going to be on pedal assist five the whole time. I'm gonna use throttle almost the whole time as well. So let me show you. I did um, charge the battery all the way up until it gave me a green light. So let me turn it on so that you can see the voltage. Okay, so. Okay, it's turning on e-cells. Okay, so the voltage is saying 66.2. The first time I turned it on, I was at 66.5, but since it's been on, it tends to lower. Okay, it tends to go lower. Okay, so, but I'm gonna turn it off and on, and then I'm gonna show you my acceleration settings. I'm also gonna have it at its worst possible. So that's going to be C5. So I'm doing this. Okay, so then as you can see, C5 is set at 10, okay? And then all my speed is unlocked. The maximum is 72 miles an hour. Of course, it's not gonna go that fast, okay? So now that that's set, we're gonna go right hard. I'm gonna be doing all kinds of terrains too. So it gives you also a real use world case scenario. So off-roading, we're gonna do some hills. Um, of course, a lot of pavement riding, a lot of stopping and going too, because for most people, that stopping and going, that's one of the things that's going to hit your range the most, is the stopping and going. Okay, guys? But before we dive in, let's roll the intro. All right, this is the beginning of the range test on the ESOS 5 Star. Right now I'm on pedal assist too, because we're taking it easy right here on the, on the trail. But as soon as we get to the reservoir, whew, I'm going to open it. I'm going to throttle the whole way. And as you saw, my acceleration is set to the highest. So <laughs> it's going to be eating the battery a lot, you know, because like, let's see, like throttling. It's like I throttle, it gives me that big push and then I let it go slows down and then I go again all that like this the jerking back and forth is going to eat the battery pretty good all right so so this is the plan for the range test guys me and John were just talking about it the reservoir from my house where we just left is about eh, seven miles I would say going here through the bike trail the bike path and uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to get to the reservoir, we're going to do a loop, and then we're going to come back all the way back to my house, and then we're going to leave again, and then we're going to go all the way to the reservoir again. So two big loops back and forth, and uh, yeah, then we'll do some off-roading and whatever presents itself at the reservoir. So that's going to be the plan. Factors that are going to drain your battery the most, just like I was saying at first, is the stopping and going, like all those accelerations. Then the terrain, that's another factor, right? If you're on a flat, if you are doing a lot of hills, and then also the range you're going to get on smooth pavement compared to derecha. To off-roading, you're going to get more range and smooth pavement, of course. And then another huge factor is how you use the bike. This is huge. So, right, like if you're doing mainly throttle, if you're doing big top speeds, uh, that's all really going to affect it. And then the other factor is your weight. So, like I was telling you in this case, I'm 150 pounds and I don't have any cargo or anything with me, so that's it. All right. So going like 22, 23 miles an hour. Easy peasy right here. 
nice smooth pavement all flat up ahead we're gonna start getting some bit of uh, inclines that we're gonna do for you and yeah I'll be checking in guys so let me see we are 1.6 miles five minutes this bike is incredibly powerful all right guys so we are at four miles but this is a really nice straightaway and it's empty for a top speed run okay it's going to be throttle only one two three go i've been giving you my speed i've been giving you my speed on th on uh, pedal assist which i was able to get it up to 43 miles an hour now on throttle okay throttle only straight away here it's a little bit of a decline here Woo! <laughs> And now it's even again, 40. Come on. Oh my gosh, earlier I saw 40, okay. 41, there we go. Earlier I did get it up to 41.4. Could be because of the battery going down a bit. So now it's 41.2. Woo! -hoo -hoo. That is an incredible top speed on throttle only. So I don't have a GPS with me today, but I've been riding this bike a lot with my phone GPS and it is super accurate, super, super accurate. You know, at, at first when you have your, uh, the display and the GPS, it takes a little bit for the GPS to, to catch up to the, or uh, the other way around for the display to, I don't know, <laughs> for, for the GPS to catch up to the display um, because Oh, but then once they catch up to each other, it remains in that speed. Okay, now we're gonna get into some like off-roading and then we're gonna go up a big hill here. Let me go a little bit up ahead. I'm looking for the entrance to the, this is like a BMX park guys, for mountain bikes. So, woo, I've been using it too for my testing. All right, just looking for the entrance. Oh, it's up here, I see it. And then we're gonna do like the steepest incline close to my house. I've been scared of this incline for a long time. And I think it's because I didn't have a super power, well, two things. It's before I started getting the super powerful e-bikes and also because I wasn't the more I practice, the more skilled I've been getting, like in the off-roading part. And this is a dirt ramp, so I think that's why. All right, so <laughs> there is some... <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! Oh! oh, my God. Okay. I was not prepared for that. All right, now I am. I'm sorry if I blew your ears out, guys, with my scream. <laughs> There are some ramps. Maybe we'll do the full lap, but we're gonna go up. Pedal assist five, throttle only. It's super steep, guys, and I'm sure the GPS is not gonna show it, but oh, oh my god, so steep. 12, 11, 10 miles an hour in the steepest. Oh, okay. Now I'm turning the power down because it's just too much for the off-road section. We're gonna go do those ramps now. <laughs> All right, so I'm definitely not a very confident like trick, <sighs> make do tricks or jumps in your bike because I've never done this before. Woo! <laughs> but if you take your time and it's, you know, it's, uh, ooh, it's, uh, there's a lot of dirt and gravel. So I'm afraid I could slide. And then there's like a big ramp here for jumping. <laughs> a little bunny hop right there. <laughs> All right. That's a good. I'm going to come here more, guys, so I can do, I can get better and better. Okay. Let's go straight and then let's do this last hops. Woo. <laughs> and then let's go back to the bike trail. Woo. You know, this is awesome for a range test because 
I know you guys encounter all kinds of terrains wherever you live and right who knows like what kind of terrain you have to get through in order to get to work or to run some errands so yeah this is gonna be as close to a real world case usage as possible and oh, <laughs> woo. all right so we are at 5.9 miles 5.9 miles and voltage is pretty high still it's saying 62.4 and then of course it dwindles up and down because of voltage sag okay so yep six miles on the dot we'll see you when we're at 10 miles gosh guys so we're in the reservoir as you can see and we just did a bunch of top speed runs it was so much fun yeah it was a good amount of miles I mean going anywhere between 36 to 42 miles an hour so much adrenaline so fun left but now I just looked at the clock and unfortunately, I have to go to work today. It's such a beautiful day. So we're at 11.1 .1 miles, but uh, yeah, on Thursdays I work in the evenings, late afternoon, evening. So gotta do what we gotta do. So we're gonna do this range test in two days. So the time and the distance is on the display. When we get to my house, we're gonna take a picture. And then on part two of this range test, we're just going to add the time and the distance of that second part, okay? The second part is gonna be long. Well, it's gonna be about the same, actually. Yeah, it's gonna be cut in half because we're at 11 and a half miles. And the voltage, I have not lost a bar yet. The voltage is reading 59.1, you know, it's going around there. Going 30 miles an hour right now, easy peasy. Very nice and smooth pavement here, but we definitely need some like, off-roading back there. And the, the hill climb, as you saw. So, yeah, you know, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to put the, the camera down so it's not so boring either. And then we're just going to ride really hard all the way back home. We are at 15.2 miles. We've been going for 39 minutes. The voltage with battery sag is at 57.5 about. So I just lost my first battery. I battery bar sorry I lost it at 58 volts all right so you're gonna say we're probably about halfway right because I calculated 30 miles but no sir because just keep in mind something to note so you don't run out of battery when you're out and about the lower the battery goes derecho the lower the battery goes, the faster it's going to drain. So it's not because I already got 15 miles. It doesn't mean that necessarily that I'm gonna get another 15 miles. Well, plus, we're, but you know, we are going to get more than 30 miles because like I said, I've only lost one battery bar out of four. So I'll meet you at the house. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you some street riding with this powerful, e-bike 
All right, throttle only, straight away. And we're in a 35 mile an hour road. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how the ESOS 5 star can keep, keep up. Woo! Like a little motorcycle. 37. Woo! 38. We are at almost 17 miles. Obviously a stop light. All right. And I'm gonna show you, as soon as it turns green, it can, it, this bike takes like a bat out of hell and it keeps up with with cars even like i would say it accelerates even faster than just how people accelerate in a car if they're not racing right so all right so green light one two three and twist the throttle oh yeah oh yeah makes me feel safe <laughs> we're right behind a vespa guys let's see if the get vespa can keep up with us <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm having to slow down. Okay, getting in the lane. See, it's 35 miles an hour. There's cars, the Vespa, me and John and our e-bikes. It's a hot day, 80, 80 degrees. Beautiful breeze. Cool us off a bit. Gorgeous summer day, guys. This is what you can do with an e-bike. Yeah, we're totally outpacing the Vespa. See, we're going to have to pause the Vespa. Bye! <laughs> Woo! Catching up to John now. Oh yeah, now we can let loose. Good job, John. Oh yes, bien, John! Vente! All right, I see we're down to two bars now, guys. Seems like now we are two bars, 55 volts under, vo under battery sag. I don't know if there's a car behind. Nope, no cars behind. And we're keeping up with the one that's like right in front of us at 37.8 miles an hour. So 38 miles an hour. So you can still get pretty high speeds with a half a battery. 18 miles, 54.8. It can hold 38 miles an hour all day long, guys. No problem. No problem whatsoever. This is so impressive. Some e-bikes, once they lose a little bit of battery, the power reduces drastically, but not the five star. So you can go on long trips and still get a lot of power. All right, and back home, exactly halfway. So yeah, part one of the range test. And now I'm going to I'm going to show you the display guys. Part number 1, I want you to see the display, okay? So 57.8 volts without the battery sag. And then right here 18.5 miles and the time is 46 minutes. Felt like we went longer, but okay. We'll be back for part number 2 very soon. All right guys, welcome back to part 2 of our range test on the five star so yeah as you saw i left it at 18.5 miles on, our, on part one and now uh we have just a half a mile into the second part so we are at 19 miles an hour uh we're going we're on the bike trail so you know we're going nice and easy here but I'm, I'm just throttling it around because, you know, like sometimes we encounter people, other cyclists or dogs and just need to be respectful for everybody's sake here in the, in the bike path. 
But yeah, very excited. Today is gonna be a really hot day. It's early and it's already like 80. It's uh, gonna go up to 95 today, so. Woo. But you know, when you're riding and you get the, the breeze, the breeze of riding definitely helps, guys. So we're gonna see how we fare, fare out. So yeah, so just like we were doing, I'm gonna check back in like five to 10 miles. But uh, yeah, we should be getting over, over 30 miles of range, which is pretty impressive. All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Guys, we are at 25 miles. I don't know if you can see, but now there's plenty of voltage tag, so I'm scared because it was already showing no zero bars. So we're on our way back now. And uh, yeah, this will just be visual for a little bit, guys. And then I'll talk to you later. Bye. So 26.7 miles and 50 with voltage sag, it's, uh, it's ranging between 52 and 53 volts. So it's kind of scary because like now the battery is showing as, as empty. I don't know if you can see it right now, but yeah, it's black, meaning empty. <laughs> so and we still have like a good, I would say at least five miles to my house. So there's a chance could run out of battery guys, or it's gonna be cutting it really close. With that voltage sag, it goes up to 54. All right, and okay, what's impressive to me, is like back there on a flat, uh, this bike was still hitting 35 miles an hour. So <laughs> that is super duper impressive, guys. Now we're going uphill here. Little bit of uphill. Yeah, we've done some pretty good mixed terrain. Uh, I mean, mainly flat, but definitely some uphill. And uh, we did do some dirt some good off-roading too back there so yeah I mean I think this is a perfect test because it has stops and goes off-road terrain it has flats it has pavement ramps super super varied because I don't think I mean unless you live maybe in like in, in a downtown area if you live outside of that, <clears throat> you're probably going to get a little bit of a variety of terrain. Even if that includes some like gravel riding or something of the sort, you're in the suburbs, right? Like I'm in the suburbs and um, I definitely, when I commute to work, it's a little bit of mixed terrain. Nothing hardcore, but yeah. So this is to give you a good idea. All right. I want to do a little Ah, another little top speed run but yeah like I said like this bike can easily still hit the 30s you know they all, what I've noticed is that it just takes longer to get to those um, to get to those uh, top speeds than it would with a more full battery so yeah super fun guys such a great excuse to come out and ride a lot <laughs> doesn't get any better than that. It's what a cool job, right? <laughs> so yeah, this is what I do for a job. I mean, I do have my full-time job, but this is part of it. Yeah, pretty tight curve here. Oh my gosh, I'm hoping the video doesn't turn out to be, little dirt here, doesn't turn out to be super long for you guys. <gasps> Oof. 
Okay, it's a beautiful hot day, so there's actually a lot of cyclists. And that guy, some road cyclists, guys, I swear to God. I mean, sure you have like experience with them, but they can be, I'm sorry, but they can be so rude. I mean, honestly, they should be, <laughs> they should be the ones getting the, all the upcoming laws and regulations that they want to put for us e-bikers. Honestly, and from experience, I see e-bikers being way more responsible and courteous, courteous and, and cautious, honestly. So, I actually try my best to set a good example for us, guys. So, okay, so see, we're going behind this road cyclist. He's going over 20 miles an hour. He's probably going like 22, 23. But back there, he was averaging more like 25, 28 when it was a little bit of a downhill. So, so yeah, <laughs> a lot of them go, do go faster than we do, guys. Yep. All right, so I'm going to check in with you guys. So 52 volts. Yeah, this is going to be dying pretty soon. So I'll check with you at the end. All right, guys, the battery has officially died. <laughs> okay, at 29 miles. And so, yeah, the battery started blinking and that's when I was out of power and I was just pedaling. And right now the power just came back up. You know, and it's because of all that voltage sag. Like, this, ba this bikes with so much power get a lot of voltage sag. So, yeah, right now it's saying, yeah, I'm, I'm having to pedal just in case because we are probably like two to three miles from my house. So, yeah, 51.7, the voltage is saying. I'll show you the screen at the end when we stop. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, guys. So, okay. I, I did this because it's a range test, uh, meaning bringing it all the way down, but it's not, but don't do this guys, because it's not good for your battery. Um, you know, if you do it, if it happens, you know, once or twice, no big deal. That's why I feel comfortable doing it once for this range test but just don't make a habit of it. If you can, don't go under 20%. I know that's hard, but don't go under 10%, 10 just for your battery's health and longevity. 51.1, let me just throttle and I wanna see how, how much it goes down right now. Cause I did see for a second 49 back there. Oh yeah. Oh, it's, it's blinking again. Okay, I'm gonna start pedaling. It's blinking at 51.3. Oh yeah, no more, no, no power again, guys. Good thing I have a little bit of uh, momentum here. <laughs> oh, we are so close to my house now. 30 miles, woo! So yeah, I'm gonna call it so. 30 miles is the final range, exactly, and time, this is, uh, the time is 1 hour and 24 minutes, oh, oh my god, it's a little bit of an uphill, guys, this bike is so heavy to pedal with no power, so don't run out of battery, um, oh my gosh, yeah, no, wow, you really don't want to be pedaling this bike. Oh my God. Okay, so, oh, so I was saying the time between the two days, it says one hour and 25 minutes, but that's only riding time. I mean, we, we definitely had stops and uh, yeah, stops and goes. So it was probably like a two hour, like in total to do this range test. All right, we're going inside my house. Woohoo! 
and then I'm gonna stop on the shade so stop so I can show you the the display come on over John so we can show them the display Vente. rápido nada más guys thank you so much for coming along to this exciting adventure here it is I want you to see it see 30 miles one hour and 25 minutes is the time and it's blinking 50 at 52.2 volts without voltage sag guys it was great doing this i will be seeing you tomorrow back for another video if you're interested in buying this bike i have a hundred dollar coupon code down in the description and that really helps support the channel too and get it while it lasts because prices are going up anytime soon due to tariff 301. always remember whatever you're doing happy riding <laughs>